Welcome to the next video. In this, we'll be looking at the tactic we call overloading. Overloading is essentially a single piece doing too much work. Like in this example, the pawn is overloaded because it's supporting both the bishop and the knight. So how could you exploit this? It's very similar to exploiting pins. What you need to do is to capture one of them and if the pawn moves away, you get to capture the other bishop as well. In this case, he's deciding not to take the bishop, thereby you get a free knight. What do you do here? Now, if you look at this position, there's a checkmate and that's being prevented by the knight. But the knight's also doing the job of trying to prevent this particular pawn from being pushed forward. So, which means I could exploit that by pushing the pawn forward and try to make it into a queen. And even if he were to capture that, I just need to figure out a way to move my queen away. Right? Anywhere there and I'm done. Mm, queen c8, doesn't matter. Okay, how do I look at this? Now, if you see this, this is kind of like an endgame position with the spawn very close to being promoted. So, all you're looking at is to find a way to clear this up. Now, since this pawn is clearly overloaded in terms of doing this job of not only supporting it, but also preventing this one, you could find an amazing move of moving your bishop here. So now you could capture this, and if, if he did capture it, you could push it forward, and if he didn't, you capture it back, and all of a sudden you have a huge pawn advantage from which you could win the game. Puzzle number four. How do you get this going? Now, if you see this, the queen is the one that's overloaded. It's supporting the bishop as well as preventing a back rank mate. So the correct move is to capture the bishop and if he were to just move this forward, then you could take it up here. So now all you need to do is just capture this back and he needs to prevent it at all costs. There's no other way out here. And from here, it's easy to win. Puzzle number five. In this case, what you could do is to see that the king is overloaded supporting both both of this which means you can sacrifice your rook and then get it back you got a pawn and from here there are many ways to win like take this particular pawn give a couple of checks and try and see if you can find the best possible move puzzle number five okay i think we didn't finish this so let's see how we can wrap this up he takes it you move it forward capture it and I think you probably have a skewer around here if not other kinds of checks that could help you win the game all right overloaded puzzle number six okay this was a game between Kasparov and Karpov and what you see is probably a sacrifice of the queen giving you a check with a discovered attack with a discovered attack and when he marks it you capture this and you go on attacking further puzzle number seven the pawn here is overloaded because not only is he supporting the pieces, he's also preventing this pawn from promoting. So you could sacrifice your queen and push your pawn, which cannot be stopped at all. And when you promote it, he captures it back and you capture it back and you win the game. Puzzle number eight. So if you look at this, this is kind of like, you know, the king just has two of these squares to move around when you give a check with this particular rook. So the one piece that could prevent it is if the knight moves in here. The problem is that there's a pawn which is preventing it, but the pawn is overloaded because it's also supporting it. So now you could exploit that by capturing the bishop and when he moves, you move the knight here, threatening checkmate. And when he tries to prevent the checkmate, you go and capture the bishop and that gives you a winning position. Puzzle number eight. Puzzle number nine what do we do here 
what do we do here this is overloaded it's preventing the rook from getting there at the same time supporting this particular bishop so you capture the bishop and he tries to sacrifice his queen away and you could exchange things out here and pretty much it's a win from this particular point on all right we didn't finish that so you capture he captures once he does that you can capture and finish the game all right puzzle number 10 in overloading what could you do here I think it's trying to get this pawn here and you need the support of the queen so you could sacrifice your rook give a check here you don't want to take this this is not a big deal all you want to do is to take this there's a queen he takes it back and now you take this one out and you win the game so that covers the tactic section of our what do you want?